I want to move on to some comic karma. Oh. All right, comic karma. This right here is the part of the show where we open up some things that the community sent in. You what? have a, a knife. Um, I do. I do have a. It's, it's a. Here you go. Is I'm, not, this okay? I'm not messing with a knife. Okay, anymore. here. Do me a favor. So, Comic Karma. If you don't know what it is, it's a real thing, and it, it's. It used to be the name of this show because that was the one thing we used to do live. But now time. it's the name of the segment, and I want to make sure to point something out. Comic Karma is not something that I've trademarked. This is not just like it's a nickname for things that we call it here. But Karma, Comic Karma, is akin to the word Karma, and it could be used in any facet. You can use, comic karma is something that you see every day on Instagram with AOKs. People just sure. sending things out. Comic karma is just doing good by other members, right? Pay it forward. Paying it forward without any expectation of return. You're just doing things to do them because you're good to do. It's a good feeling. Makes you feel good about people. You know, but people you know normally what? suck. So this is, this is kind of nice. That's right. And you know what? We have members since the beginning of us doing this show that would send things in and that would Ask for them to be donated or, um, you know, to the members of the community as a giveaway or hey, throw this in your mail call and things like that. And when we had like a handful of members, I'm talking like under 20 members, it was like a big help. Like, oh, damn, someone right. sent us a Secret Wars 8. And they're like, hey, donate, donate it to the mail call members, throw it in there and send it out. It's like, hey, that's really cool. But it didn't feel immediately didn't feel right to not indicate that this is something that. We didn't. We, yeah, it feels like we passed it off. Like, oh, look at this cool book we found and we did. You know, yeah, like the, we got to recognize the people that donated it in the first place. Yeah, it's like, hey, this person got this great thing in the mail call, but I, you know, it wasn't for me. Us. It wasn't from us. So we immediately remedied this and realized, hey, wait a minute, we have an opportunity to help out members across the freaking country. And if members of our channel want to send things in to be donated, by all means, they can hitch a ride. We're sending out mail calls across the country. So donations for the mystery mail call, get labeled with with the comic karma I used to write episode. It used to back, write I used to every write comic one. karma and then the date on the back of every board. Dude. Back when there weren't that many donations. Didn't have, it was a lot of work. But now, now there's we, a lot. we print out stickers. It's a little bit easier. We're going to put the date of this filming. Um, it'll actually be the date of the clip. Where, whenever uh -huh. that'll come out. So that's going to change up a little bit. So okay. we'll have today's date. But when the clip comes out for Comic Karma, there'll be a whole playlist of Comic Karma clips where this portion of the podcast will live. I'll only be explaining this once. So everyone here, thank you so much for joining us on today's podcast. And this is something a member sent in. Sometimes it's gifts. Sometimes, you know, they have a very specific thing. And what do we have? A letter. Oh, we have a letter. <laughs> Wonder who it's from. Dear Comic Tom, Fire Guy Ryan, Russ, I have finally received issue number four of my creator-owned comic, Uncanny. Yes. Oh, my gosh. Okay. We have more Uncanny to read. It's a great day. Dude, is this all filled with Uncanny? Probably. Yes, it is. Yes. All right. Big shout out to our homie in the community who's making his own independent comic book about a dog who speaks and is a superhero. It is, like, completely done by hand and then scanned to be a comic book. It's all by him, too. That's right. I have sent you some copies to send out to the community as well. I guess if I had read further, we would have figured that part out first. I also sent you guys a personalized signed copy for you to keep. Ooh, it says, hey, to Tom and Ryan. That's pretty funny. That's fun. There you go. I'm going to put that up here for now. There you go. I had some prints to give you, but I'm still waiting for them to be delivered. I also threw in some books from my personal collection for Ooh. Comic Karma. I hope you enjoy issue four of Uncanny. All right, so we have issue four, but we also oh, have nice. some comic karma, some Gleason goodness, some berserker nice. goodness, as well as what am I looking at? Batman oh, year three. There we go, some Tim Drake goodness. All right, cool, if cool. You say so. All right, so what we have here. I hope you enjoy issue four. Your boy has finally gone digital, kind of. LOL. I want to keep evolving my work, and I want to learn more and more as I continue this journey of comic creating. I am not a writer. I am not an artist. I am a storyteller. Oh my goodness. I promise goodness. you, I'm going to give you and the readers the best damn story I possibly can. Thanks for sticking with me. I guarantee big things happening in the issues to come. Your boy, Fred Funis. Instagram at the Uncanny Rogue. All right, let's keep it rolling. We have some Uncanny. What? I'm, I'm super hyped about Uncanny, members of the community who have independent comic books. We're going to be incorporating more independent coverage. Oh, on the show. What? That's right. We're going to, we we're not stopping here. No, we have more. And if you do want us to chat about your Kickstarter, your new comic book or something. Send it in. Send it in. This is how you do it though. You send it in. That's how we found to, Uncanny. To the PO box. Um, or you can contact me through the website. So there's a contact comic Tom section and just put, um, I think there's like a drop down there 
for you to contact me about business inquiries or Kickstarter stuff. There's a lot of members who ask, like almost on a daily basis. It's tougher to get to those when we have members sending things in to be given away because we open them on the mic. It's a prime time to talk about them. However, we are doing our best. There's a lot of people we try to serve and we're good. Really try to bring the heat for you guys. <laughs> Does that sound convincing, Ryan? I'm so convinced. All right, five got Ryan in the house. All right, what do we got? Another box. Another box, another, another thing. One of your boxes. Here, pass me that one. I'll give you the comics. All right, hey. Look I'll at this. Take the letter. Mystery mail call fam there's, reusing their boxes. There's like, a letterhead on here. That's like fancy. they care about the earth and are trying to recycle. I like it. Ooh, okay. I recognize this. Hello, Tom and crew. We are sending you a few comics for Comic Karma to send out to the comic fam, including How I Made the World, drawn by a patron of the store, Randy Michaels. Oh, cool. Copies for anyone else interested, available at howimadetheworld.com. And two copies of The Fist of Justice, featuring me and the Comic Book Palace, both signed by me, one for Karma and one for your personal collection. The store is doing well during the pandemic, and a new channel is being started on YouTube. Dude, is that Glenn? Uh, yes. Oh my gosh, that's Glenn from Comic Book Palace. Spoiler alert. Oh my gosh, we everybody. Love show. Oh my goodness. We have Glenn from Comic Book Palace. There's more because okay. they mentioned me. Oh, I'm so that's hyped important. right now. This is Glenn. We what love is your happening? show and are glad you're back to a semi regular schedule and that Fire Guy Ryan is back full time. I, I did not add that one in myself. That was actually in here. So that's exciting. Much love and geek responsibly, Glenn from Comic Book Palace. Oh my goodness. Comic fam. Okay. So I was wondering what I kind happened. Of, I kind of forgot about these guys, man. They've been MIA. Well, you know what happened is I think their YouTube channel, um, something happened where they're not, they're not part of the same team that allowed them to do the filming and the editing. It could have been COVID related. I don't. Cause I mean, it was a show. Like, what was it? It was a show on it was YouTube. A show. That was inside of a comic store, but it was like, not just, it was produced. It was produced. And I don't think that they have that. Maybe they don't have that same person. Um, I think his name was Jorge, if I recall correctly, but regardless, they do have a new channel and they're trying to build it back up. So comic book palace is back and he, there's a link in there, but it's a bunch of letters and numbers. Yeah. It's not going to (laughs) work. Um, but I'm sure if you were to type in the comic book palace on YouTube, you'll be able to find it. Cause um, I was looking them up recently and I found a YouTube channel. They didn't have like their backlog. Uh, and I know that there was someone else who was helping them. So anyways, this, the comic book store run by Glenn does some fantastic work for his community and he's super entertaining. He does reviews and you get to see like the ins and out of the comic book store. It's like being in the store all right. the time, but you know, not getting yelled at for hanging out all day. That's really cool, dude. I'm super excited. Glenn, thank you so much for sending some stuff in some comic karma from another YouTube slash LCS member. Hell yeah. All right. What do we got here? Another box. Another box. I'll take this. It looks like a note. And you get the fun stuff. Not that the notes aren't fun, but they are Ooh, much easier. Okay, so this <laughs> looks like an independent comic book. Thank you for being awesome. We hope you enjoy and review these comics. Stacy. Well, you know what, Stacy? T Pub? I feel like that might stand for something, but it says T Pub. Okay. T Pub. Well, we have the. Uh, what does that say? I can't even. Theatrics. Theatrics? Okay, what does it look like? Explain. It looks like, it looks like Crime Alley almost. I'm getting like. Batman origin story vibes. There is a guy getting uh, a guy bleeding face down in an alley, which it looks fun. Okay. That's the kind of stuff that's right up Ryan's alley. Transmission. Okay. Okay. I can't even describe that. That's someone standing on a bunch of red numbers. It does say T pub at the bottom. So that might be the publisher. That would make sense. Twisted dark volume one. That looks scary. It says highly recommended from bleeding cool. There we go. And it looks like a, uh, uh, someone kind of sadistic looking in someone missing some a tooth space. and bleeding and smiling. So there we that's go. Really scary. So, um, this is something that's going to have to go in our pile that we will get to and possibly bring it back to the mic. So, and the that's pile, a, the pile, dude, it's, it's a growing pile. It's a good pile though. It's one I, I enjoy. Um, you know, what we should do now is pull up the, you know what? Let's actually chat about it. Um, do you have the copy right there? Chat about that right there. That makes the most sense since we were just talking about independent comics. We should do this right here, right now. We brought this up last time I was here. That's right. We didn't do the best job. You know what? Um, I was trying to wing it, and I realized sometimes we just have to... People deserve more than, than wings. That's right. They do. Especially when they put as much effort into a comic book as they as they did. And I, I think I call it soggy beans. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Like, I, I just... I read it quick. It's not soggy beans. It's not, but I can't help but call it that. <laughs> no. We need to make a superhero now called soggy beans. <laughs> okay. This, this book is called Clan of the Devil... 
the Sonny Bean saga. Not Soggy Beans. Not Soggy Beans. I apologize beans. because you know what? This member sent in copies of this book. Um, we opened it on Comic Karma. I tried pulling up the Kickstarter. It didn't work well. I started playing someone else's video. I found we... a different video. So anyways, this is a Kickstarter that's currently live and there's 13 days left to go. I read the comic. Um, Ryan, you like were able to take a look at it too. We flipped through it, yeah, before Surpri- we went live. Like, I'm not surprised because like the, the comic fam surprises me so much that it's like, oh, hell yeah, you know? Someone did something awesome. Not surprised. I However, think of, I think of comics that people make, you know, on their own. And I remember the comic book me and my friends made in seventh grade on notebook paper with, you know, mechanical pencils. Well, you expect a certain level of, of quality, low quality when you think of like a self-produced comic. But our members bring we've, the heat, man. We've, yep. did, we've talked about some independent books that people have been creating, like Uncanny even. Like for someone that does, I mean, he just said he started to go digital, but he was doing this by hand. Yeah. it's It was like surprisingly great quality. Like I was having fun reading it's these things. Like, comic. I, mean, I, I would have picked this up out of like an indie shop or something, you know? Sure. Like it's, it's, it's like a ridiculously fun book. So we have, um, what is it called again? Clan? Clan of the Devil. Clan of the Devil. And the Kickstarter is live and we are going to take a look at it um, correctly this time. With sound. Oh. <laughs> Hopefully. Oh, my goodness. Of course there's no sound. Come on. It's slightly more correctly. Uh, all right, hold on. Let's see here. Well, actually, shoot. <laughs> like, we're going to do this right. Why isn't there sound? One second. Oh, I know why. I know why. Look there's at this. Soundboard. Here we go. Soundboard it up. Returns to his home life. Let's start over here. Scotland, oh, 1617. Full screen. King James finally returns to his homeland. Is this going to be appropriate? Hell yes. That's what I'm talking about, comic fam. That is how you do a badass comic book. And the thing is gorgeous. The art is stellar. It's we saw dark. The art. Yeah, in that video. Like, it's a creepy book. That's right. And as we know from my uh, kind of ruckus coverage last week, this is, I, I'm not, I haven't read the, the comic, you know, in its entire, like, entirety. So I don't know if it's like fan if it's like completely fiction or nonfiction, but Sounds this is like a clan a that actually existed. Yeah. And that it was cannibals. They and ate stuff. people. <laughs> they ate people. And they do eat people in the comic. I mean, I can definitely yes. tell you that. And it's also mature. It's and, very mature. And there's some nudity, Ryan. Thank you for pointing that out specifically. Dude, there's like full on several some, pages of some love graphic making. Love making. Happening. But you know what? There's not a whole lot of uh, romantic scenes like that in comic books anymore. I feel like I don't see that very often. And there's nothing wrong with about people celebrating their love. There's nothing wrong with eating people. Exactly. Yeah. Especially in the same comic book. Different that's times, I think. Eh. <laughs> well, maybe that's <laughs> there issue too. I mean, okay, go comic fan. We do appreciate um, the independent creators just continually impressing us. The Kickstarter is live; it's funded, and you can uh, go check it out. It's scary. It's, it is it's worth scary. checking out. 